In today's video, I will be diving into the getInt command, a useful tool for querying the system databases in Linux, and I will show you 11 practical examples of this command in the Ubuntu terminal. Now, before I proceed, I have an exciting announcement for everyone. Our latest course, Linux Fundamentals, a complete guide for beginners, is available now on Udemy. If you want to get a complete A to Z knowledge on Linux, then this course will be perfect for you. You can find its link in the video description below. All right. Right, now let's get back to the main topic. So what exactly is the getInt command? Well, getInt stands for get entries and it allows us to retrieve entries from databases such as password, group and services. The syntax includes the getInt command followed by option and then the database key which is generally given as argument. And if you want to learn more about this command, you can navigate to its manual. Here you can learn more about its description or the options that go with it. Let's go back and start the examples. Let's start with the simple one. Run this command on your terminal. You will see a list of all user accounts on the system. Each line represents a user with their username, encrypted password, user ID, group ID, user info, home directory, and shell. Similarly, you can retrieve information about a particular user. All you have to do is add the username at the end. As you can see, this command is now displaying all the details about the user Aisha. Next, let's try to see all the group entries on your system. This command will print out a list of all the groups along with their group ID and the usernames of the members on your terminal. Now to fetch details of a particular group, simply type get and group command followed by the group name. You will see detailed information about the group LP admin, including the group ID, list of members, and the group password, where X indicates shadowed passwords. With getInt command, you can list out all the services on your Linux system. Let me show you how. When you run this command, it will list out all the available services along with their port numbers and protocol types. Now, what if you have to fetch the details of a particular service instead of all at once? In that case, execute this command. Just mention the service you want with the getIn service command. For this example, I have obtained information about the KPass WT service. With getIn, we can also retrieve information about the hosts in our system along with their IP addresses. In the output, you can see that I have displayed the list of all hosts in my system. Next, let's move on to listing all networks. Just type this command and hit enter. This command will show you a list of all networks configured on your system along with their associated IP addresses. Now, what if we want to get a short usage summary of this command? Let me walk you through the process. Just execute this command. This will provide you a brief overview of the getInt command and all its available options. Next, if you need to know the command version, there's an easy way to do it. Let me show you. This command will display the version information for the getInt command currently installed on your system. And finally, how about obtaining detailed information about this command? In that case, execute this syntax. This will provide you with the details of getInt command along with its usage, options and other necessary information. And with that, I wrap up today's video on getInt command in Linux along with its 11 practical examples shown in the Ubuntu terminal. Whether you're managing users, groups or services, this video will help you understand how getInt provides a versatile way to query system databases directly from the terminal. 
And if you want to learn more about this command, you will find its article and examples in the video description below. Stay tuned for more Linux tutorials.